Okay. All right. Serenity, can you hear me now? Yes. All right. We want to solve uh, a particular question on word problems relating to basic operations. Okay. Okay. Good. This is the question. It says, um, Matthew, Matthias, and Matthew went to the cinema. Matthew paid for all three boys with 40 pounds and got back 11.65 pounds change. How much was the price of one cinema ticket? Okay, this is a question. Please don't write anything. Just listen, okay? Okay? Okay. Good. This is a question that has to do with money. And it has to do with payments and receiving change. When you make a purchase, let's say you make a purchase, then that means you're paying an amount. If you have a change, then we can use the amount you paid, you know, the amount paid, uh, the amount paid minus the change collected to get the total cost of the items. Okay, Matthew paid with 40 pounds. So this is gonna be 40.00. Don't write anything, just listen. Then, if we take away the change that he collected, if we remove the change that he collected, which is 11.65, then we're going to have the amount that the tickets cost, the all the three tickets. Is that clear? Yeah. So we can say 40.00 minus 11.65. Zero minus five is not possible. And I need to borrow one. So I borrow one from here, this becomes three, then it becomes 10 on the next level. Then this is gonna become nine here because I'm not going to that spot. I'm going to the other spot. So this will be nine. Then I have to take the one to the next neighbor till it gets to where I am going. Is that clear? So I take one again, this is nine, then finally I have 10 here. So 10 minus five gives me five. Nine minus six gives me three. And nine minus one gives me eight. Then three minus one gives me two. So that means all three tickets cost all three tickets equal this. Then the question says, we had to find the price of one ticket. It said, how much was the price of one cinema ticket? That means ticket A, ticket B, ticket C cost this amount. And they have the same amount. That means the price of the ticket could be A, hey, okay? Okay. Each ticket... I mean, each ticket cost a certain amount. So each ticket cost, let's say X or A or any alphabet, okay? So <clears throat> I can say each ticket cost C amount of money. Then the first ticket plus the second ticket plus the third ticket. It's going to be 3C, okay? okay? Then the total cost, according to our calculation here, is 28 Point three five pounds. So I have this to be 28.35. So all I need to do now is to divide the amount into three so I can get the cost of one ticket. Is that clear? Yep. So if I divide this by three on both sides, so I'm going to have I'm going to have three cancels three here. Then I have C, 
Then I want to divide this number, 28.35, by 3. Please don't write anything like I said, just listen. 3 cannot divide 2, so I go for 28. How many 3 in 28? 3 times 9 is 27, so I can see 9. Is that clear? Yeah. Remainder 1. I put the 1 before the 3 to make 13. All right? Yeah. Then, how many 3 in 13? 3 times 4 is 12, so I can see 4. Remainder 1 again, making 15 with the remaining digit. So, how many 3 is in 15? This is 5. Yeah. So, it means each ticket is going to cost 9.45 pounds. Okay? Okay. So, that brings us to the answer to that first question. So, what I would advise you to do right now is to put down this number one question, only this, uh, this in the blue rectangle. Okay? Okay. Only this place, write this. Once you have written that question, then you put down this solution. Okay? Okay. So once you are through with the two uh, blue shapes, you know, writing what is in the two blue shapes, well, God will continue. Is that clear? Okay. All right. I'll wait for you now. 